We've got high hopes for this contest with these two fighters. Should be a really good matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Kevin Kelly, 170 centimeters tall with a reach of 180. And he'll be facing Terrence Bud Crawford. He can fight both Southpaw and Orthodox. Five foot eight inches tall with a 74 inch reach. Nobody knows who's gonna win. You can have an argument for the winner on both sides, but this is that fight. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. Here comes the flushing flash. Kevin Kelly, we saw in his fight against Prince Nassim Hamed, he's willing to go toe to toe and blow for blow. What a battle that was, and we expect something similar here in this one. Terrence Bud Crawford, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. He also can crack at welterweight. One of the best to ever do it. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. This bout is scheduled for three rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Flushing, Queens, New York, here is the former amateur great and world title holder, introducing the WBC featherweight champion of the world, known as the Flushing Flash, Kevin Kelly. Fighting out of the blue corner, from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed three division champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. It is go time, ladies and gentlemen, and you can see there is not a seat to be had for this very close matchup. Todd, I'm going to stay here till the end of the night and to the last fight who's out here, because if you're a fight fan like me, this is what I live for. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Counter right hand again. No rest for the weary. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Not a lot of defense here at all. So much pre-hype surrounding this fight, the fans are on the edge of their seats. If you see the nerves of the fight stepping into the ring tongue, it can tell you so much about a fighter. And they're looking in the opposite corner. You've got one fighter that, that is in heaven. This is where they want to be. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. That one lands. Nice punch. They exchange punches. Left counter scores. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. If you get in with a slugger, they want to work at their own pace. You speed, frustrate, and take them out of their comfort zone. Make them tired, trip over their own feet. Get them angry. Beautiful counter punch. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Round two, who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back.
power punching from both these fighters. He can't score with that uppercut. Lands with the right counter. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Perfect counter lands. One of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked. And a counter left. High punch. That left counter was perfectly timed. He scored that left hand. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Oh no, Kevin Kelly, it's a real trouble here. Oh, I heard that never by so it. Let's get it started in round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt, you've got to get out there again. Be smart, be sharp. Don't be a fool, don't get sucked in. Make him fight, your fight. Hold him, tie him up, just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. That counter shot lands. We know these smaller fighters had those fast hands and good footwork, but what else? You remember, with a lighter weight, you're expecting at least 300 shots around. They can let these shots go, they can move, they're fast, they're sharp. It's a hard night work for the referee. on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Oh, those punches add up. Not a lot of defense here at all. Good left counter that lands. Punch, counter punch. 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. Nice counter. A pretty lopsided decision there, a unanimous one. This is the last thing we expected. What a fight, what a style, what a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This, I didn't see that coming. I thought this would be tight. This is nowhere near tight. 